ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about how Uber Eats CEO, uh, how do you even say this name? Karoshohani, uh, Dara Karosh, Koshorohana, honey, I can't even, I can't even get close to pronounce it. Dara Koshorohani, okay, anyways, forget it. Dara, we're just going to call him Dara. Uh, Uber Eats CEO, food, uh, delivered food for Uber Eats. Just that first sentence. Awesome. I'm glad that he's actually, like, dipping his own toes in the water and, like, doing it himself. I also did some research. I was like, Tony Zhu door dashing. Just to see if Tony was, like, at least putting out that he was, like, door dashing himself. I wonder if the guy does, because uh, there was literally no articles or nothing about Tony door dashing or doing any of the work himself or trying to maybe understand what it's like to be a door dash driver or something. But bravo to uh, Mr. Dara Kokshkonhani. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I don't know. Anyways, he says traffic was nuts as he rode his bike near a baseball park near San Fr in San Francisco. He spent time delivering food in late June and made about 0.3% of his daily salary. Said he made 100 bucks. 0.3% I feel like is an inaccurate number. I don't believe that this guy's salary is... There's no way that it's only 0.3% of his daily salary. There's just no way. He's not making that much damn money. Um, it's not like... Yeah, where... Where's my phone? I need to count. Okay, forget it. There's no way that is correct. You know, point three hundred dollars What? Okay, I'm not good at math, but there's no way he's making that much money. He probably makes really good money, but not that much money to where it's only 0.3%. Uber CEO Dara Kalkhani delivered for Uber Eats via bike, uh, bustling streets. Apparently didn't take easy on him. He's out there doing it, though. It doesn't even matter. Like, the fact that he's out there at least seeing what it's like and understanding, you know, and he had a rough day, so obviously he gets it, you know. Good job. Really good job, actually. I'm not mad at the guy. Um, you know, blah, 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 published Friday, blah, blah, blah. He was a bit nervous about delivering for his ride-hailing company food delivery arm. I think he's a new CEO. I don't think he's been in there for very long. And the city's traffic might have had something to do with it. I nearly got killed delivering near a baseball park, Krakshani said, referring to Oracle Park, not far from the city's financial district. The Giants game was starting and the traffic was nuts. My, ho my hypothesis is that someone knew I'm a Mets fan. Probably not, but okay. Uh, let's see, what was this? He posted a tweet of himself uh, saying that he'd spent a few hours delivering over two days. Uh, he posted a video and or a photo of him wearing a helmet and a bright green black pack, black pack, backpack. The executive said he made $106 with, and 71 cents with tips in one day. Then he posted a screenshot of it. Yeah, that's pretty good money, to be honest, for just a few hours. But in San Francisco, I don't know if it's really good money. Kit Kat, stop. Hey. Sorry, my cat is, like, scratching the hotel chair, which is probably why cats aren't allowed in hotels. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Posted his screenshot of his earnings and everything. That's cool. That's cool. I'm not going to lie. I'm not mad at the guy for uh, going out and doing some DoorDash or Uber Eats, sorry, and uh, doing it, you know? At least now he understands how dangerous it actually can be because in reality, there has been Uber Eats drivers who have been killed. There's been people that have been robbed, like... We are literally risking our lives if you're out there, like, doing, like, delivery driving. And, uh, oh, that's an unfortunate end to the article. That was not a very long article. And, uh, well, I guess, uh, to say the least, this video is a little bit of clickbait. But I got clickbaited, too, by, uh, MSN Microsoft News. Anyways, but what I'm trying to get at is I'm actually kind of stoked that the guy is out there doing delivery driving himself. As someone who's running a company, you have to understand how the company works, little details that your delivery people are going to come into contact with. And I mean, I think it should be like a once a week thing that, you know, like executives and other people, the fact that he's doing it on a bike, which is like, he's literally riding an actual bicycle. 
that's kind of crazy. I've never done it on a bicycle. If you guys, let me know what do you guys deliver in. Let me know what kind of car you deliver in or whether it's a motorcycle or do you guys deliver on bicycles? Like, I've never even considered, I don't even really have a bicycle to be honest though. Like have a BMX bike, but I'm not going to deliver on that one. But what do you guys deliver on? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm very interested to see how many people actually deliver on bicycles. That's kind of crazy to me, cause but at the same time you get some pretty good, uh, like some pretty good fitness and stuff, you know, probably a pretty good workout driving, not just driving around, but like actually riding your bike around. I wonder what's the longest. If you guys know this question or the answer to this question, what's the longest they will give you for delivery? Cause I feel like it's got to be like three miles maximum, cause you know that's probably gonna take quite a while. Anyways, uh, side note, we do have the new off-axis shoes in. We also got black or white sole. Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, I think we're going to go with the white sole, though. But look at how cool this little emblem is that I made. I love that. Anyway, so if you guys want to check out our footwear company, it's at offaxisathletics.com. You can use my discount code offaxistanner for 30% off. Uh, excuse me. And if you guys haven't yet, you can sign up for DoorDash using my affiliate link. It's linked down below. Uh, if you guys want to make side hustle income like I do, like personally, I love delivering, especially when it's perfectly on the way. For example, like earlier today, I went to the mall and on the way to the mall, I did a delivery, it paid me $9. I made $9 to basically drive to the mall and it only took me like an extra, I only went like an extra five minutes out of the way. So for like, if you're doing it casually and stuff, I know we don't get paid very much and a lot of people are complaining that we should get paid more and stuff and unfortunately I just made a video on like the market value is always going to determine how much we get paid and the reality is it's just about anyone can do delivery driving so I don't think we're actually going to get paid more but if you can make delivery driving as convenient as possible and I'd call it casual dashing because I just do it casually as I'm about to go do something if you can do it like that you are totally like that's I don't know, that's straight hustler, you know, in my opinion. I think it's, I don't think it's a good idea to be doing full-time delivery because you're putting so much wear and tear on your car, you're risking your life, essentially. You could almost get killed by uh, Giants fans or whatever, I don't know. If you're Dara, like, what is that? It's K-H-O-S-R-O-W-S-H-A-S-H-A-H-I. Ko... Kalkush Kasro Kasro Shahi Kasro Shahi. I think that's it. Dara Dara Kasro Shahi. Fucking god damn it. Okay. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed these videos at all, please consider smashing the like button and also subscribe for more videos on delivery driving, side hustle, money tips, business, fitness. What else will we talk about? All kinds of stuff on this channel. So, anyways. If you guys enjoy these videos at all, please consider smash the like button and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one, guys. Drive safe. Peace.